Having a visual directory of people can help by making it easy for your team to see what people look like. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jenny and I help creatives organize their ideas and tasks in Notion. I've helped my clients create dynamic directories of their own team, but I found that there are some limitations. So here are the three ways to add photos to your Notion directory. The first is going to be the page icon, this area right next to the title or the name of the page. It's going to be added right here. So I'm gonna remove Lucas really quick and show you how to add that. Um, it's the same place where you normally add emojis. You're just gonna click right above the title and then add icon. And then you're going to add, go to custom, upload file, and then I'm gonna add Lucas's bio picture right there and that's automatically going to add an update there, so you can see it there. What's great about this is that it'll be visible whenever you mention another page, so I have uh, Best Friends with Cloud, and if you put um, mention, it's going to be included there. Same thing with this one, you can see that it'll automatically update and showcase someone else's image here as well. So when you click into here, what's great about this is that it's going to be slightly larger than the icon. It, there's no real change when it goes from the small view to when you're clicking into the page. Uh, so it's nice to have a very like expected response whenever you're clicking into it. One of the cons for this though, using the page icon for the bio, is that if you use the page icon plus one of the other ways that I'm going to be talking about together, you could technically see the photo twice, and if that's annoying to you, then maybe just picking one or the other. The second way is going to be the cover image, and this is the area at the top of the Notion database item. Uh, you can also set the cover to be the main image or the page preview in the gallery view, but to see the cover, it's going to be at the very top. And one of the cons you can kind of see already is that unless you have a wide image that works best in Notion's header, it's going to look kind of weird. I'm using only square images just to showcase what it looks like with most bio pictures uh, because most pictures actually don't fit very well in the cover. The pro is, is if you do have a very wide picture, this is going to be the largest view and it's going to take up the most visual real estate on here within the Notion pages. So that's how you're going to add like the biggest image. To add and change the cover, um, I'm gonna remove Lucas again, but you could, it's right next to where you added the icon. You're gonna click on add cover, click on that going to automatically populate with a texture then you're gonna click on add or change cover go to upload upload file and then I'm gonna add Lucas here in this picture so it's definitely not the best for square photos but if you do have wider photos that are a good candidate for like a bio picture then you're able to add and update that there um, and you can see that it's not going to look good um, you can also reposition this and in order to showcase the cover image here you have to click on the three dots here go to layout and for the card preview on the gallery layout you're going to select page cover and this is going to make it so that your page covers are the main preview of your gallery the next way is going to be the files and media property, and this is a property that is added in addition to your name, the role. In order to add it, you click on the three dots over here, and then you're going to add a new property. It's going to be called files and media in the type, but you can always change the name to something else like um, headshot. headshot. Uh, so that it's a little bit more clear on what it is. But that's how you add a files and media property. And to add or update, you're just going to click into, I'm just gonna delete fogs really quick. Um, you're gonna click into an empty cell and then click on, uh, I believe it's going to automatically, no, you're gonna to have to click onto it. Add a file or image and then choose a file. And then you're gonna click on your image, press open and it's going to upload that image directly into that cell. There you go. 
Uh, you can also see that you can add multiple images here as well. So it's not limited to just one image like the page icon or the cover. You can add multiple images if you have multiple headshots that you're choosing from. I'm just going to select the second picture of Fog to show, um, but you can include multiple pictures here too. So it's because it's files and media, you can add multiple images here, potentially. Um, and one of the pros is that it's one of the easiest ways to add many photos, not all at once, but quickly because you would just, if you have a table view, you would just click in and add a picture, click in here, add a picture, and so on, so forth. So it's a really great option when you want to, uh, when you say have a long list of people in your team that you want to add images for. What's great about this too is that when you have a files and media property, it can also serve as the cover of your gallery images too. Uh, and I can show you this by going back to that layout for gallery and instead of page cover, uh, files and media is going to be available. If you don't have files and media visible here, that just might mean that there is not a property currently created. You're going to have to create that property so that it's visible. And the thing that I also like about uh, the files and media property is that it can also be used in a rollup uh, property. A rollup property takes the properties of a relation property. <laughs> and if it's, this is going way over your head, don't worry about it. But uh, say I have the database with the team directory and then I have this database of best friends. I've linked this property together and it's automatically going to take the picture. So for example, if I happen to go to clouds, I'm gonna go add another image here. Let's see, I'm gonna pick this picture of me and Lucas. I'm just gonna add it to cloud so we can see what it will look like. And then go back to Lucas. And the roll up picture is going to be, yes, there we go. The roll-up picture is going to have that change reflected in that roll-up. So anything that's associated, any changes that are happening with cloud, whenever it's linked to this, it'll automatically showcase. So that's what is great about the files and media property is that it's a very flexible way to use it because you can have visible in your gallery view, you can use it in your roll-up properties. Uh, and it just makes it a lot easier and it's very fast to add to. So those are three different ways, but there's also another bonus way for you to add photos and that's to the body of the pages itself. So if you go to the body of your page, you click into here, you can uh, do a forward slash and then type an image and upload images this way by adding them in here and pressing open. So it's going to update and add images to the body itself and you can set this to be the cover as well by setting the card preview to page content when you have content in the body. Uh, it, if there is text above it, it's still going to pull the image, it's going to pull the image up into the cover before any text. If there are no images in the body of the page, it will, the preview would just be text. So uh, that's just something to keep in mind if you're going to be utilizing images in this space. I'm gonna try to add him again. Lucas, okay, there you go. There you are. So one of the good things about this is that it's in the body. This is also a really great way for mood boards to be visible because if you don't wanna go through having to add things in the cover or the files and media property. This is another great solution because it's very large and it's not constrained by the cover itself. Um, one of the cons, however, is that it can't really be utilized or exist outside of the page. I, if, I, if you can notice that as it lives on the body, the page icon has been updated to this like blank document icon that signifies whether there is content living on the body. So you can't really see it outside of it beyond this gallery view or within the page itself. So there are some limitations with that. 
Having a visual directory of people can help by making it easy for your team to see what people look like or celebrating people on your team by highlighting them individually or introducing your full project team to a client at the beginning of an engagement. And these are all different ways that my clients have used their team directories and photos and bio shot headshots. So hopefully this is helpful for you as you develop your team directory for your own team and adding in images so you don't run into any issues and you're able to optimize all the beautiful headshots that you have. So if you want to see how I use my Notion for myself, check out this video where I walk through my latest Notion tour of 2023, where it's my safe space for creativity, focus, and flow. And I encourage you to explore all of my other Notion tips and tricks if you need to. And let me know if you need any help with anything else by leaving a comment below. I'll see you in the next video.